Listen, um, yes, let's quickly take a look at all the sporting action that took place over the past weekend. I'm glad I have Graham here because I did not manage to catch any sports, all right, with all the birthday celebrations that went down this past weekend. But um, you're going to fill me in, which is I'm great. I'm going to fill happened? you in. I'm actually going to fill myself in because we were both so busy this weekend. I, I really had to fly through the highlights, and there were some major, major highlights here. Right. We're going to have to start with the first major cup competition of the year. A yes, lot of pumping up ahead of the MTN 8 final, Supersport United, right. up against Cape Town City FC. Benny McCarthy, of course, his first big test as manager of Cape Town City FC. Got off to a flying start. Um, it really did look like they had um, the game in the bag. But let's um, open it up. You can see the scoring there. Um, Messina opening for City. Um, you can see the elation. Didn't take long, though, for um, Supersport to equalize just 10 minutes later. Tabo Nyamane um, and <laughs> getting it in for Supersport, and that meant that it had to go to extra time. Nyamane actually went off injured. Supersport had used up oh, all of nice. their, their substitutions, so they played yeah. with 10 men for that extra time, um, which I think you can really um, see as a, as a feather in their cap. But it went to penalties, ultimately, and Ronwin Williams was the star of the show, saving two penalties cool. in that shootout. That ultimately was the decider. So 4-2 on penalties. Supersport United um, get a little revenge over Cape Town City after the Telcom knockout cup that they lost to them last year. So well done to all the Supersport mm. fans. Um, then we turn to another massive clash, um, certainly from a South African perspective in terms of results as we head into cricket. South Africa, Bangladesh, um, they met in the first of their ODI series. We were hoping that the Proteas would pick up where they left off from the Test series. And boy, did they. Imran Tahir getting one wicket. Khakiso Rabada um, getting four four on the day. Um, so it looked like a pretty decent total, 278 Bangladesh. Uh, Mushfakir Rahim getting the highest total or highest score ever against South Africa for a Bangladeshi player, 110 of 116 balls. Fantastic. But it ultimately yeah. became a one-man show. Why? Because we ended up beating them by 10 wickets. Not one wicket fell wow. in the Proteus camp, largely due to the efforts of Quinton de Kock. He got his 13th ODI century, um, but he scored 168 <laughs> of 145 deliveries. A um, assisted by Hashim Amla, who got 110 off 112. So a massive victory. Uh, I well think Bangladesh done, boys, thought man. that they would have had some well kind of done, result boys. with the total that they posted, but the Proteus yeah. clearly on fire That's at it. the moment. So hopefully we'll continue. And some Premier League action, brother, as well. Ah, uh, dude, well, we were hoping for a little more action in the probably the greatest derby in English Premier League um, action between Manchester United and Liverpool at Anfield. Not a goal was scored, unfortunately. A pretty cagey affair. Manchester United, I think, continued their form, certainly in their defensive hold-up. De Gea was the star of the show for me in goals for uh, Man United. They really are the best defensive side, I think. Romelu Lukaku didn't use the opportunities that came yeah. to him. Likewise, Saha, they were out uh, with um, without Sadio um, Mane, which I think made a big difference for Liverpool, but they could have scored. They had so many opportunities. Bit of a dead rubber there. Man City, 7-2 against Stoke, so they maintain their lead at the top of the table. Crystal Palace, the big shock, 2-1 over Chelsea. So some interesting results, but some dominant performances, but I think ultimately I'm going to ask for a studio <laughs> cheer for the fans and the players of Super Sport United. Yes. Woo. Our MTN8 champions, and that's how you travel around the world in three minutes. Boom. Absolutely. Thank you very much, man. That was a quick <laughs> roundup of your sporting action right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.